What is up you guys, Red Rum here, and today I just kind of wanted to do a very very quick analysis over the new survivor ability flywheel effect. If you're living under a rock, flywheel effect is basically the identity 5 ripoff version of Dead Hard from Dead by Daylight. Your ability is you have a 1 second speed boost anywhere, no windows, no pallets needed for 1 second, and it's, it has a around 100 second cooldown. Dead Hard is really really good in Dead by Daylight. You have to keep in mind that Dead by Daylight is a very, very different game than Identity 5 at this point. Yes, they're very, very similar, but the play style of these of the play style of their characters and their gameplay kind of does differ. Do I think it's a bad trait? No. But I do think it is more situational than I would say other traits. A lot of people say, oh, well, you could probably bring it on Mind's Eye because Mind's Eye is such a god-awful kiter, and you could probably get her to windows with that stuff, and you could take a one-second boost. If you're using the boost to get to a window, you're probably going to get hit anyways, or throw it on a pallet. You're gonna get hit anyways because it's Mind's Eye and her interaction speed is pretty low, so you're probably going to get hit regardless, and in general, you don't want to use your final ability and get hit anyways. That's just not a very good use of your final ability when compared to other really really good traits in this game Flywheel effect just isn't as consistent of a trait I do think flywheel effect would be very very good on maps like moonlit maps that in general do not have a lot of windows So you probably will get more kiting potential out of that ability than broken windows But do keep in mind that taking broken windows includes pallet boosts and the window boost Plus the window boost is actually 40 seconds while flywheel effect is around 100. So, um, if you're going to be kiting on smaller maps like Arms Factory, just in general maps with a lot of windows and pallets, do bring broken windows. I think you'll get a lot more value out of it than you would with Flywheel Effect. It kind of goes hand in hand. Bloody Queen. Thinking earlier, non-meta survivors could bring Flywheel Effect to counter Bloody Queen if they know it is a Bloody Queen. In reality, in rank, you're never going to know exactly when it is a Bloody Queen unless they have the visit on. And if you're a, a top player and you're playing against top hunters the bloody queen will hit you regardless when you use your ability a good bloody queen will place her mirror correctly and uh, she will hit you even after that speed boost because it is quite a short speed boost and the blood queen mirror is just so so long i don't think flywheel is a very solid blood queen counter uh do i think it's better than broken windows no not really it really really is dependent on what map you're using this game has revolved around broken windows tide turner and borrow time for so long, it's just kind of hard for people to adjust to a new ability. I do think you will always need borrow time, maybe tournament and stuff, but in rank you should be bringing borrow time. You can't really take flywheel and then use your window boost because you don't have borrow time. It's kind of iffy, but I don't think it's a bad trait. You could look at it, hey, we're finally, our voices are finally being heard all around. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you want to, no pressure. But overall, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you around.